and she did come from a different class. I mean, she was the nouveau riche, and uh, she had made her money, her husband had made her money, uh, their money in a silver mine. And so she was really trying to claw her way up the social ladder, and she got a kick out of these, um, you know, uh, high-class people. But it didn't change who her personality, who she was as a woman. And after after docking, after after surviving, she went home to Denver, Colorado, and she was involved in a great many charities. I understand. And um, so yeah, that informed a lot of. To me, Molly Brown was the American spirit, the American West, and uh, that the pioneer spirit um, that 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 she. Um, she didn't change who she was, you know. I mean, she 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 wore fancy clothes and she had great luggage and all of that stuff that she could afford, but she didn't change who she was. The the, the artistry and the technique of, of doing all of that. I mean, he you know that amazing shot shot when Kate's coming in to board the ship, you know, and you're on her hat and she looks up and the whole. Sky I opens up with that ship and the car being loaded and the gulls flying and I mean it, he got such a sense of expanse. I mean when you say David Lean, I mean it, it, you know they don't we don't do that a lot. It's a lot about the tight shot and this and that, the expanse of you know that ocean and the the ship itself. You know he he captured that so beautifully. Certainly, at the moments where they're on the prow of the ship together, and and at the end, of course, it's very a very sweeping score that's very part of very much part of the emotional build of those moments and stuff. And and I thought it was a beautiful theme, beautiful theme. And um, and Celine Dion did a fantastic job. I mean, I thought he was so smart in bringing all of those elements together. You know, he didn't leave a stone unturned. You know, in terms of of uh, of how to make his penny shine. No, I mean, he brought together so many elements of his own life in order to be able to accomplish this. You know, as we said, you know, that he, you couldn't have made that film without having been able to physically go down and see the wreck yourself. He took that experience, his experience of going down there and then making it into a film. That's why Titanic is alive today. That's why the film is here. That was Jim's personal experience. So you can't take that away from him. Oh, I think people will always be fascinated about the Titanic. And this is just another way for them to tap into it. I think that's it, it, it's a haunting, haunting experience.